Hello and welcome everyone to today's video. So I'm currently doing this whole series all about moving and home decor, but I figured I would give us all a little break from renovating by sharing some of the pieces I recently bought that has recently been sent to me in this little vintage haul with you. I have actually quite some things, even though I feel like I haven't been shopping lately just because I've been so busy with making over my home but you will see more on that in the next video coming on Sunday where I'm going to show you my bedroom makeover but today I just wanted to film a quick little video for all of you sharing some of the gems I recently found. So my family is originally from Hungary and recently we've been to Budapest to just visit family and while there I went into a little vintage shop and I actually found this incredible dress. I love the pattern. I think it is so so dreamy with these beautiful silver and golden details. I feel like this would be the perfect dress to wear around Christmas. I love that it has these little longer sleeves. They kind of come down a little further than my elbow, which is a length I generally really like. It also actually has this buttoning detail so that you can just open and close them right here so that the sleeves are a little bit tighter at the end and I honestly think this dress is incredible. It is definitely handmade and from the 60s. I honestly cannot wait to wear this. I am thinking about maybe taking it in a few inches because I feel like it's a little long on me but other than that this is the perfect dress. It's in prime condition and honestly I just fell in love with it and I'm so so glad that I got it. I feel like this is great for a Patty Boy look. I feel like it is perfect for something that Marian Faithful would have worn. Just overall this really really dreamy 1960s look. I actually even bought another dress in that same store that is also long sleeved or three quarter sleeves and it just has a really cute little collar up here then it has the very classic 1960s seam going up and down on these sides and then it's just what's considered a 1960s mini dress even though the classic 1960s mini dress sort of came down more towards the knees so I'm also thinking about maybe taking this in not because I want it to be super short, but because I'm only 5'3 and I kind of feel like the length is a little odd on me. But feel free to leave a comment on that. I honestly love the look of these 1960s dresses. I love the color and the pattern. I feel like from the background and the blouse you can tell that I really love floral patterns. And I honestly really like the brown and the light blue. So I cannot wait for some cooler days that I'm able to wear this gorgeous dress. Moving on with the most special gift and parcel I got from my dear, dear friend Jesse. Jesse is a really dear and beloved friend of mine. He lives in the US and he's actually close friends with Miss P. The Miss P as in Pamela the Bar. I've actually had the pleasure of talking to her online and I cannot wait to meet her. But my wonderful friend Jesse wanted to send me something that Miss P gave to him and that is this incredible shawl. I love the crocheted and how dreamy and sparkly it is. It also smells really, really good, which I think is really cool. Um, I love, love, love the details on this. It is such a dreamy piece and I cannot stop but think and wonder what Miss P did, whom she met in all those nights where she danced in this shawl. And honestly, I will just cherish this piece forever. For me, having something that is so history filled, just honestly, means the world and being able to talk to Jessie and Miss P has been such a honor. Jessie was also close friends with Miss Mercy and told me a lot about her and since she sadly passed away and it's not possible to meet her anymore, I honestly cherish this friendship so so much. He's just such a wonderful and kind person. He has a great great podcast all about 60s and 70s music and I'm gonna be honest with you this is probably one of the most precious things that I own. So when Jessie told Miss P that he was sending the scarf to me, she decided to also add this little shirt. This is Miss P's classic I'm with the band tee. I think it is such a cool design. It really matches like her whole groupie couture fashion line, which you sadly cannot buy anymore, but she had for a while. And then in the back, it just says Pamela the Bar. So, I honestly think this is such a cool present and I cannot wait to wear this. I honestly feel like this with some jean shorts would also be perfect for a late back 60s look. 
When I saw this dress, I immediately, immediately fell in love with it. It is handmade, probably from the late 60s. It is so dang beautiful. It has like these dreamy, dreamy sleeves. It's a little bit sheer and then just kind of comes in a little bit more towards the wrist. I think this is such a special piece. It fits me like a dream. It's honestly the perfect length and size on me, which is quite rare because as said, I'm pretty short. So I was so, so happy when I found this. Plus I found this at a really random thrift store charity shop which is a big tip if you want to save money because this dress was believe it or not eight bucks and it is in great 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 prime condition it has the tiniest hole up here but you can barely notice and i've been loving and wearing this a lot lately another truly beautiful dress i recently found is this one what i love about this dress that it kind of mixes the hippie print with a really mod fit i feel like this is something that anita pellenberg would have worn it is made from a really really nice thick cotton fabric and i honestly think it is so cute this is actually pretty pretty short so i'm thinking about letting it out just an inch or two because it does have some more fabric here so i feel like it'll be a little bit more wearable but i've actually worn this out before and i love it i honestly think this is so cute i love the way that it fits and for me personally there's just something so so special about pieces from the 60s that i know have a lot of history and by the condition that the zipper back here is in you can see that it was worn a lot so whenever i wear this i can't help but wonder and imagine what the person who this used to belong to lived through in this gorgeous dress so if you've been on my channel for a while you know that i'm usually not that big on retro brands so all of these brands that remake 1960s and 70s clothes but one brand that i love and cherish is the hippie shake and dave recently come out with a new collection and after they did Naomi the owner asked me if there are any pieces that I really love and let me pick some and they sent them to me and I'm so so thankful and I honestly cannot wait to share these pieces with you because I know that sometimes you just see a vintage dress that someone has and you're like oh I want to have that but it's so hard to find a similar style so with these hippie shake pieces you can wear what I wear you can just straight ahead buy them if you're interested so let me show you the wonderful pieces that I picked I picked this gorgeous dress this reminds me so much of Lucy in the sky with diamonds by the Beatles it is such a dreamy cut it has the cutest little velvet details I love this so much it's a fit and flare dress with little balloon sleeves but I'm gonna have it worn right here for you to see I honestly feel like this is such a cute and dreamy and timeless look and the model in the picture was wearing the most amazing boots along with this dress and so I asked her for those two and these are these are just my dream come true. As you can see, I haven't worn them yet. They still have the paper in them, which is because I just received the parcel yesterday, but these are a dream come true. These are classic 1960s open boots, which I think are perfect for spring and summer. I honestly love them so, so much. These are so dang cute. I cannot wait to wear them and just cherish them. I honestly think these are so dreamy and perfect and if you're looking for really high quality wonderful 60s retro -y pieces i cannot recommend you the hippie shake enough naomi actually added some more things for me and one of them i really wanted to share with you because it's this really really cute little crochet cap which i honestly feel like is the perfect accessory for a 1960s look and i also wanted to show you this because of this little hanger tag that it has it's the rising of the moon collection this is what this entire collection is called and it just says that it is highly inspired by Stevie Nicks and just how she was so incredibly and heavenly and such a big figure not only for music but fashion. And I feel like this is definitely a very Stevie piece so I cannot wait to style this. Before I go on with the video I just quickly want to say that this is my new office but it's not done at all and I kind of feel like I look really red on camera and I kind of feel like this is probably due to the colors in this room right now so if you're wondering it's not gonna stay like this forever i just really wanted to take a little break from renovating and share some of my lovely latest thrift finds with you so let's go on with this piece i feel like you can't really tell on camera but it's a black velvet top first of all i thought it was a jacket because of the buttons it has going down the front but you cannot actually open them. However, I feel like this is a perfect Biba inspired piece. I also feel like this is something Patty Boyd would have worn more towards the late 60s, early 70s. And I 
love this piece so much I've actually worn it quite a few times I love that it's a little open down here and then when you wear like a skirt or something with it it just looks like a coordinated set so I'm honestly really really glad that I found this and picked it up Moving on with two more extremely special pieces. I feel like this is the haul of the special finds and pieces, but that's good too. Because I truly feel like fashion that has a meaning is the fashion that you will wear forever. So as said, I went to Hungary over the weekend to actually go to a funeral of a very beloved uncle of mine. And while we were there, we were kind of going through his things and like picking things we knew he wanted to stay in the family and I actually went through his closet and he was born in the mid 50s so he was definitely a very fashionable young man in the late 60s and 70s and I found this belt that I love so so much I feel like this also sums him up as a person so it's great for me to just keep wearing them plus I've been wanting a belt like this for such a long time so having this is not only a great memory of him but also something i know i will wear um it says peace swing love jazz rock beat love peace and it's just such a cool belt i feel like for someone who grew up in a communist country in the 50s and 60s owning a belt like this is honestly just something really cool and sort of rebellious which didn't really surprise me because their father who I also got to met was actually in jail for protesting the communist government so I honestly think this is such a cool belt it reminds me of that part of my family that I love 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 so much and that I'm really sad that I will not see again in this life and then I also got this belt which is just a classic leather belt with this golden buckle and this might sound like a bit of a family tragedy, which I think it is, but I feel like I kind of also have a different view on that. But basically, the uncle I just talked about, he had an older brother and the two of them loved each other dearly. They spent their entire life together. They lived in a house together all their life and a few months before the uncle I just talked about passed away, his older brother passed away. So he was suffering from cancer for a long time, but now that I have this belt, that reminds me of him. I also took some other things of course and I have a lot of memories of just spending time with them. I actually saw them in 2019 while I was visiting family and visit them. And I'm just gonna be honest, this is like my favorite part of the family and having something from them means the world to me. I also know that this is a little off topic but I get a lot of questions about my tattoos and I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to talk about this one because these are coordinates of the very tiny and small village in Hungary my family is from and that I got to visit over the weekend. So yes, this is just a part of my family that is really dear and close to me and having their pieces and getting to wear them means a lot. On a less sad note, I also found this dreamy, dreamy blue knitted bag. I added this gorgeous little scarf that I actually got gifted by the Hippie Shake a while ago. And I think it is so dreamy with like the bamboo handles. This is probably from the early 70s and it is handmade, but it's just such a cute look to go shopping. I totally forgot to show you these sunglasses that I also got by the Hippie Shake. They just have the coolest stuff, I cannot say anything else. They just have the most far out designs and I cannot recommend you to check them out enough. So I have a big love for 1960s nightgowns and a lot of the time I also love to wear them as little mini dresses. So I found this dress which has which is just made from some thick wool cotton but it has the cutest little details down the front. I'm probably going to take this in a little and just wear it as a baby doll mini dress for the summer. This reminded me a lot of Sharon Tate and so I really wanted to get it because I love the really nice linen fabric and baby doll cut for the summertime. I actually found a pair of sandals at a thrift store that I've been looking for for such a long time. So these are classic 1960s gladiator sandals with just a little bit of feel. I love them. I just love the suede material and how they are laced up. These are actually from Germany, so they just have like a German little note in there and I, I love them. These are so comfortable, they're great to wear. I actually wore them while I was on the cruise and was totally fine walking in them for an entire day. So I feel like this is a really timeless look. It also obviously reminded me of Patty Boyd at Hyde Asbury and I've honestly been wearing them all summer so far. 
Speaking of shoes, at the same thrift shop, just a couple weeks later, I found these incredible green suede boots. These are so damn cool to me. These are perfect for any sort of groupie look. I also feel like this is something that Petty Boyd, Anita Pellenberg, some of my all-time fashion influences would have worn. And I honestly think these are so cute. But these are sort of like these classic stretchy boots. They just go up all the way to my knee. And I think the color and also the way that they're shaped right here is just that classic 60s shape that I really love. Just a little bit on 60s and 70s shoes. I've actually made an entire video all about that. I'm just gonna link that right here if you're really interested. But as far as shapes go, either a really rounded toe or a sort of lengthier toe was really much on trend in the 1960s, just if you were wondering. I have two more pieces and I feel like this first one is something that typically isn't really my style, but I picked it up and I'm really, really glad that I did. This is a 1970s prom dress, or at least like going out evening style dress. I feel like these were also a little popular in the late 60s. This is something I see Patty Boyd wear. And usually this is just not really my cup of tea, but I fell in love with this dress and I've actually worn it a couple times now and I just love how it looks. I love how it moves when I wear it and I feel like this little part around the shoulders is just so so dreamy and cute that I'm honestly really really glad that I picked it up. And I just know that people around me are going to have weddings and big parties soon so I think this will be perfect for those events. And last but not least I found something I've been looking for for quite a while and that is a leather vest. But not a leather vest of any kind but one that has fringes all the way down. I cannot tell you how long I've been looking for a vest like this and I love this one so much. I think it is perfect with that like little detailing down here and then just all of the long fringes. These are so so dreamy and I love to wear this vest. I think it's a really cool and unique piece and I love how this looks with white dresses or just all sorts of Woodstock pieces because I feel like this is something I would have definitely worn to Woodstock. So that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would love you to give it a thumbs up and maybe even share it with a friend. It supports me, it supports the channel and it would truly mean the world. If you're interested in all things 60s and 70s, especially room decor, fashion, makeup, all of that, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every single week all about that and I would love to have you around. Leave a comment down below telling me which of these pieces was your favorite and I will see you again on Sunday with a new part of my Homeward Bound home makeover series. I hope you have a wonderful day. Go out, enjoy the sunshine, take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today and I will catch you in the next one. Bye everyone!